morning, Commissioner. Steve. I suppose you know you took me away from a big deal. Yes, I'll bet you had nice eyes, too. Baby blue. It's about Alan Prescott, Steve. We think he's in trouble. Oh? As you know, he'd been assigned to investigate a political refugee racket, an illegal entry scheme to smuggle aliens into this country. The trail took him to Spain, and from there to a little town named Mazimbra in Portugal. That's the last we heard from him, two days ago. Must have gotten pretty warm. Yeah. It also means that he's bucking a pretty rough outfit. Steve, Allen is one of our best agents. He's also one of your best friends. That's why I figured you'd uh, want this assignment. I do. We got any contacts over there? One. And for a change, it's a man we know we can trust. He's helped us before in the past, and he was working with Allen on this illegal entry investigation. What's his name? Perez. He runs a, a small fishing supply shop in Mazimbra. That'll be your first stop in Portugal. When's my plane leave? In one hour. Steve, get over to Portugal. Find out what's happened to Alan Prescott and then smash this political refugee racket. Well, that's it. You've got your assignment. Good luck. Yeah, I've got my assignment. Just a simple matter of flying to Portugal, finding another agent named Alan Prescott, who's holed up somewhere in a little fishing village called Mazimbra, and then smashing an innocent little alien smuggling racket. A real cinch. It's Tuesday when I get to Lisbon. I grab a train up the coast to Mazimbra. It's a typical fishing village, a line of creaky-looking boats lined up at the dock, fishing nets spread out to dry, the smell of tar and fish in the air, and a cluster of old houses around the church. It looks real peaceful and quiet, a little too quiet. I nose around and locate Perez's shop. It's dusk when I get there. Anybody home? Perez? Okay, Polly. You call him, too. Come on. Press, press. <laughs> You're choking me! Huh? You're choking me! <laughs> Polly, you got a persecution complex. Do not move, senor. Turn around. Slow. Uh, Perez? Who, who are you? Steve Mitchell, United States. <laughs> Gracias. I will be all right. What happened? Alan Prescott was hiding here. Two men come for him. He lived by the back window. They tried to make me tell them where he had gone. When I heard you come in just now, <laughs> I thought they had come back. Yeah, your parrot thought the same thing too, I guess. I've been helping Prescott on the smuggling ring. We were expecting you. You know where he is now? No. But he cannot be far from here. But where's the police station? Just down the street, a short distance. You go to seek their help? Looks like I've got to seek somebody's help. You better get a doctor to fix up those cuts. I'll see you later. See. Your credentials seem to be in order, Senor Mitchell. Well, then let's get some action, Lieutenant. Alan Prescott's been dead almost an hour. We can't let those smugglers get away with that. I know he was your friend, Senor Mitchell. 
But in this country, haste can be dangerous. Huh? There is something in there which may be of interest to you. Come, I will show you. Who are they? They were found floating under one of the wharves, their hands and feet tied. Some of the paying customers of the alien smuggling racket? Quite possible. Perhaps the situation suddenly became too uncomfortable for the smugglers. So they decided to dump their cargo. See? Si. Who found them? Our police launch. We patrol the entire bay every day at sunset. Any identification? No, their pockets had been emptied. But we were able to identify one of them by his fingerprints. Police record, huh? See, si. Luis Naranja from this village. And senor, he has a girlfriend, Maria Delgada. Might be a good idea to pay a call on this Maria Delgada. I was just going to suggest it, senor Mitchell. She lives but a short distance from here. Let's go. Senorita Maria Delgada? Si. Police. Police? Si. We wish to talk with you. Senorita, we bring bad news of a friend. Luis? Si. This morning they found his body floating in the bay. He was murdered. Delgada, when did you last see your boyfriend? Two or three days ago. Hmm. Had you noticed him talking to any strangers lately? Strangers? He talked to no strangers. Hmm. When you last saw him, did he tell you where he was going? He told me nothing. Senorita, I think you are withholding information. No, that is not true. I tell you everything I know. I must remind you that Luis Naranja had a criminal record. That was a long time ago. Perhaps he intended to commit a crime when he left here. That is a lie. Perhaps that is why he did not tell you where he was going. Lies, lies. He was not going to commit a crime. He was going to the United States to live with my uncle and... I see. And you have nothing more to tell us? Very well. Senor Mitchell? We will question you further if necessary, senorita. Lieutenant, she sure clammed up all of a sudden. But not before she told us what we wanted to know. Yeah. It's a sense that some of the arrangements for these illegal entries are made back in the States. I sure wish we knew the name of that uncle she spilled about. It is Emilio Delgada. How do you know? While you were talking to Maria in there, I noticed an envelope on the table. In the upper left-hand corner, there was a name. Emilio Delgada. Was there an address? Senor Mitchell, in the United States, is there a place called Bronx? <laughs> That's an address, all right. Come on. Let's find a telegraph office. I want to send a report back to the commissioner. You're still here? Ah, Senor Mitchell. You're right. I'm worried about Perez. So far, he's the only one that can give us any kind of a lead on this outfit we're after. I checked his shop late last night, and he wasn't there. I just checked again, and he still hasn't shown up. But, Senor Mitchell, he has shown up. Oh, good. No, it is not good, Senor. Huh? In there. Perez? See. Si. A fisherman found him floating in the bay. Well, so far I'm getting nowhere fast on this deal. First I find Alan Prescott's body dangling from a bell rope. Then five bodies turn up with hands and feet tied. Apparently cash customers in the illegal entry racket. And now Vieira tells me that Perez, my only contact, has just been fished out of the bay dead. Well, at this point a little idea starts pecking away at my brain. It's pretty wild, but... 
When you're down to your last two bucks, you might as well plunk it on a long shot. I put through a transatlantic call to the commissioner. We are able to locate that Emilio Delgado in the Bronx, Commissioner. Yes. Good. Did he put the finger on the stateside branch of the racket? Now, the contact is a waiter in a small restaurant in New York City. Delgado gave him $3,000 to smuggle his niece's boyfriend into the United States. You didn't pick him up yet, did you? Uh, the waiter? No, if we do, the outfit in Portugal will slip away from us. That's the point. Look, did Delgado tell you how to contact this waiter and what password to use? Yes. Yeah. Good. Send one of our agents up from New York. Have him contact this waiter and arrange transportation for a relative over here to Portugal. Relative? Who? Me. What? Now, Steve. Look, I'm going to use the name Nick Grotto, G-R-A-D-O, Grotto. For the record, I'm going to pose as a racketeer who was deported over here last year. Now, wait a minute, Steve. Think of the danger. I am thinking, Commissioner, of Alan Prescott. Now, look, I'm going to Lisbon. I'm going to register at the Hotel Lagos as Nick Grotto, so you can get the ball rolling any time. So long, Commissioner. Steve, wait. Uh, Steve! Grotto's. Hey. So long, partner. Adios, Senor Nick Grados. Take a little trip, huh? What kind of a trip? Your brother in America arranged it. Oh. You got your things packed? I don't have to pack nothing. Just lace my shoe. Don't carry identification. What? Get your papers later. You got your money and valuables? Yeah. Bueno, the car is outside. Where are we going? To the cliffs overlooking the sea near Mazimbra. Cliff? Okay. We do it. Uh-uh. You first. Not as bad as it looks. You? Yeah, I know. Me first. This is far enough, senor. Who is there? Who's that? That's one of the passengers, Pimentel. Who is it? It's Bogota, old man. This is Nick Corrado, Pimentel. Senor? Where's the other passenger? Here I am. You have a match, senor Corrado? Gracias. All of you stay here. I'm going back up to hide the car. Bergota, uh, how much longer do we wait? Well, Senor Steve Mitchell. 
Maria Delgadas, the grief-stricken girlfriend. What are you doing here? Funny, I was just about to ask you the same thing. I want to find out who killed Louis. Oh, you sure that's it? Why else would I be here? I don't know, yet. Does Bogota know who you are? Of course not. And I'm quite sure he doesn't know who you are. No. He won't, unless you tell him. Then it appears we must make a little bargain between us. Yeah. Looks like each of us has a loaded gun on the other's back. And just remember, I can pull the trigger just as fast as you can. I don't doubt it. Senor Mitchell... Quiet. And forget that name. Wait. Wait. All we do is wait. Did we go to say how long we're to stay here? Until the boss come to the boat, he said. Sometime tomorrow. Did he say who the boss was? No. You do not look so good. Why don't you sit down here and rest? I... I am grateful for your kindness, senorita. I am sick and an old man. But everything will be all right when we get to America. Everything. That means a lot to you, huh? It is what I'm living for, senor. How far back does this cave go? Pagoda told us not to leave this ledge. He said the channel winds back and ends against a wall of rock. And the front entrance is the only one, huh? That's what he said. <clears throat> 2 a.m. Well, don't look like anything's due to happen tonight. Might as well try and get some sleep. Put all your money and valuables on the ground. What's the deal, Vagoda? Shut up. And do as I say. All of you. So. And as for you, Senor Mitchell. Well, looks like you pulled the trigger first, Maria. No, I did not tell him. I swear oh, it. Oh, sure, sure. The boss wants to talk to you, Mitchell. The boss? When did he get here? A few minutes ago, by boat, Mitchell. Perez! I've surprised you, no? The police told me you were dead. The real Perez is dead, Mitchell. The real Perez? Wait a minute, you mean... The night that you talked to me in his shop? I had just killed Perez before you came in. You took me for Perez. I played along with you. After you left, I threw his body into the bay. Looks like I've been real smart about this. You were most helpful in accepting Miss Perez. Gracias. Nice racket you've got. You line up a lot of passengers and take their dough and then kill them. Instead of a ticket to the United States, they get a ticket to the morgue. Nicely put, Mitchell. Nicely put. You mean we will not be taken to America? <laughs> what do you think, old man? Come, Bagola. Pick him up. For now, the three of you will remain here. And Mitchell, I would not advise an attempt to escape. There is only one entrance to this cave. And Bogota and I will be guarding that. Come, Bogota. Bogota, you fool! The launch will see you. We are not going to America. It was just a dream. Steve, what are you thinking? Five bodies floating in the bay. Wait a minute. Perez says there was no back entrance, didn't he? He was lying. How do you know? Watch the smoke. Goes that way. That means there's a draft. That could mean a back entrance. A back entrance? Yeah. Hey. The 
police launch. We're gonna do something. We gotta do it in a hurry. Or we're dead pigeons. No, senor. What do you mean? Come on. I, I will, Pimentel will help you. And God willing, I can save you and the senorita. What are you talking about? Oh, I am sick. I am old. What happens to me is of no importance. But I can prevent Perez from taking the dreams of others and ruining them as he has ruined mine. I, hey, I will bring Wait help. a minute. Yes. No, I, let him go. Help! Help! Police! Over here! Sir. Police! Police! Uh, police! Police! Help! Pimentel. Well, that's the way he wanted it. Hey. They heard your shots. They're heading this way. Lead them away. I'll take care of Mitchell and the girl. We'll meet you at the rear entrance later. Let's go. I know. Oh, great, he's got a flashlight. Hope the right one's right. Come on. Oh, great. Steve. Oh, fine. Looks like the end of the line. That's about it, Commissioner. Perez is dead, and the police launch picked up Bogota, his hired hand. Good work, Steve. What are you doing now? Oh, just relaxing for a change. Are you alone? <laughs> Why, Commissioner? Yeah, it sounds like you're all alone. Oh, that's just a little chick that took a shine to me. I can imagine. <laughs> you don't understand. Oh, don't I? <laughs> Here, I'll let her speak for herself. Go ahead, Polly. Steve! <laughs> so long, Commissioner. 